comes to uh, solutions you know when when you ask for solutions so insa is indian national students association which is the largest student body network in the uk so we are present in 45 plus uh, chapters uh, or we call societies indian societies in the uk a uh, majority you know where the indian students come you know out of all the 150 u- universities and we are still expanding um, and in fact this afternoon uh, i'm attending a meeting where we see all the indian um, uh, uh, societies presidents and you know all the representatives from across the universities in london so there's about 25 universities in and outskirts of london so we are meeting all of them uh, to send a very clear message that you know we need to be up there and support our indian students there and this the numbers are huge the challenges are big but insa is up to it insa is a registered non profit charity organization so we have a we have a duty we have a responsibility to a care and that we have taken up ourselves it's not like somebody is doing like a out of um, you know as a time pass or you know somebody has told us to do uh, because me myself and all the national team that we have in the insa is is ex students so basically we can connect to the student student issues um, uh, is is what uh, you know bounds us binds us uh, and and we we are there in you know zonal structure that's what we do uh, london zone you know midland zone north zone scotland zone so these we you know uh, we divide our responsibilities in zonal structure and where each each zone will have its own president vice presidents and the societies they have their own calendar for the year to you know work uh, beat events and you know welcome uh, welcome affairs and all the webinars you know uh, all the awareness campaigns that we do career fairs so these are this is uh, this is a um, part in you know every day to day thing for us and then every sunday uh, you can you can appreciate the commitment that the team uh, has every sunday in the morning uh, no matter what we meet uh, online um, for a meet to take stock and update it update uh, the previous uh, meetings uh, points agenda points that we've taken up and all the issues that comes up because every week you hear you know you get uh, new uh, new issue uh, all sorts of things you know be it from scotland down south in um, london so so we we have we have developed a network of all the well wishes also and alumni also you know that we are that we you know have uh, fortunately have here so we do have um, we do have our own mentors coordinators for each city in a way where you know there could be multiple universities so but we have a point of contact um, so that's that's how we operate if there is an issue uh, uh, we we step in and we uh, dedicate our time for that a particular issue and then coordinate with local <coughs> mentors Uh, and also we we are you know we were found to have great support from um, uh, indian high commission here in london and also consul general of india birmingham and consul general of india edinburgh so they are very very supportive of our work they appreciate what we do uh, because some of the some of the stuff that uh, we do uh, is, um, is 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 through experience and through guidance um, from all the well wishes that we have in the wider indian diaspora as well so we do we do lot of um, other you know cultural events as well we have uh, a wing call in sa culture where do we we try to like we're celebrating you know yoga day across different universities we do you know independence day and all that and we also have a branch called in sa careers where we uh, we look into their cvs you know to correct them and to to give them proper guidance and how to apply what to apply what's the um, what's the trends in the uh, in the market and what do the recruiters expect uh, from you know these um, the students uh, when they come out of the universities so this is one set of it and the other important thing that i want to uh, of our work that we i want to highlight is the insa cares so you have insa cares insa culture and insa cares insa cares is when a um, lot of students has lot of um, mental health challenges uh, here you know maybe in india it's not a big thing but here when you come here especially with respect to uh, the weather you know it's it's very um, unpredictable weather and it's going to be dark in you know all the winter months it's going to be cold so people are not used to our students are not used to so when they when they come here um, apart from the financial uh, stress that they already have the family pressure the job you know uh, tension uh, and the academic um, pressure put together is you don't have uh, they don't have anybody to share and talk to to share their um, you know issues uh, and thoughts and uh, so they get into this isolation they get into mental challenge uh, issues that's when we step in we 
help uh, students with professional uh, no, panel of uh, professionals that we have. So we connect them and then um, I, with a small example, uh, during the COVID time we were there supporting students like thousands and thousands and I personally spoke to hundreds of students th those times to support them. And one of the major issues that we uh, came across is that majority of them, like more than 50% of the calls that we received were like... Do you suggest to parents those who want to send their children to UK for higher studies? Yeah, um, thanks for asking this question, uh, Guru Garu. Uh, parents has bigger responsibility to inquire, uh, to know more about uh, the university, the course that they are studying and where they are going to be than just simply paying the fees or, or money. Because in most of the cases, what we have seen is that the parents are put in dark. They don't know as uh, no, they only know that they, my, my son or my daughter is going to UK and they say uh, he's in London. Or she's in London. That's it. But uh, the reality is um, the, the agencies also don't really put big picture um, to the students. Forget about the parents. It's like there's there's a small example I'll give you. There's a there's a we all know Cambridge, you know, Cambridge University. Cambridge is also a place. It's like a city, and we have, they also have another university called Anglia Ruskin University. So the student gets ab admission in Anglia Ruskin, but they all they live in the same city as Cambridge. Uh, so the parents are are, are uh, misdirected or um, uh, misinformed that my. It's not misinformed also, the reality, the truth is not told. So they are put into a different uh, zone like, oh, my son is in Cambridge. So for people who don't know what is Cambridge, they might they might think, they will think that they're studying in Cambridge, but they're actually studying in Anglia Ruskin University. Or another case like, oh, my son is in uh, Oxford. So but there's another university called Oxford Brooks. So in Oxford, if you help, if you put together this number of Indian students are about 300 to 400, and but Oxford Brooks, they have about 1500. So everybody is, you know, when you say my my son is in Oxford, it doesn't mean that they are in Oxford University. They live in Oxford uh, Place, a place called Oxford, where they have another university called Oxford Brooks. So this is kind of a very small example. But I, as, as far as parents are concerned, it's very important to double check the information that the agent is giving and the, and the, and the, and the student, because most of the times the students are under influence of either the student or either their seniors or their friends. So, and wherever, wherever the information that they get from, uh, they, don't have, they don't have a secondary scope to double check, but you have through INSA now at least. Uh, so you can double inquire, double check which university is better for, uh, because you don't get uh, for, you know, uh, um, uh, fooled by the fancy videos, advertisements, and uh, you know, all the, uh, all the interviews of the past students, but the reality is, uh, could be different. I'm not saying all the universities are like that. Uh, so, so it's important that you double check on from parents if you have your own resources or, or sources or you know you can approach INSA. We will be able to tell like okay this university um, I mean this is good for this you know this course is better in this university and this course is not so good in this university but you can choose this university. Uh, so but again ours is uh, 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 not a final word but ours is a advice which you know, they, with, it comes with disclaimer also at the same time. So we cannot influence your decision, but we can only inform you better uh, of your uh, question. So this this uh, small advice is that approach us, take a third opinion, if not second opinion, and don't blindly go with whatever the agency or your you know child is saying. Yeah. Are there any fake universities in UK? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say fake, but there are less competent universities, yes. And there's recently I've come across, uh, this is a very different example, completely different example. Uh, there, there are, in, 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 especially in Andhra Pradesh, uh, for some people, they are using fake university names uh, and proclaiming themselves that they've got an award, you know, uh, some achievement award, lifetime achievement award. But in India, I've gone through that, you know, in one of the uh, very funny incident, I, that university doesn't exist. But the certificate's there, and it says, "Oh, you know, John Hope, uh, some Liverpool Hope University." But doesn't that university doesn't exist? So this is just a scam. But uh, in terms of fake universities, no, there is no fake university as such. But there are less competent universities where the degree from there or the quality of education is completely uh, opposite of what you expect. So, so it doesn't come under fake category, but it comes as a less competent uh, university. There's only there's only very you know in the tier one universities and tier two universities or tier three universities. So different categories. Uh, you, tier one is like your Oxford, you know Cambridge, Imperial, you know all these kind of uh, universities. Tier two is universities like your Hertford U University. 
uh, or or Brunel University, these kind of universities. And I three, I wouldn't like to take the names, uh, uh, not to hurt anybody. But uh, if you can approach us, you know, we can advise you properly. Thank you, sir. Really good information. Thank you. Yes,